Mountain. Going for King of the Mountain. Good. And right up ahead. Good day. And Doughty for the wonderful <laughs> decorations. Thank you, Doughty. They're lovely. Well done. And our cook, Annika, for a oh. wonderful meal. Yet again, yeah. I yeah. Yeah. wonderful. Yeah. 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 And everybody else, too, for their and, roses and good cheese. And Pete, we're, we're thinking <laughs> of a bit of a speech from The marmot wants to have a The marmot, is that you? Marmot. Yeah, marmot. Yeah, marmot. Marmot. Yeah, marmot. marmot before marmot. dishes. Thank you know, from Canberra. <laughs> now, Canberra um, is an Aboriginal name, um, and it uh, comes from the Ngunnawal tribe. And to translate Canberra into the Ngunnawal language, shorthand, it means never let the truth get in the way of a good story. <laughs> <laughs> so I inherited this last night and Wilbert said it's going to be minus four or 
something like that. <laughs> uh, I got back to the tent, put him down, and he was already shivering. <laughs> put him down? Yeah. That wasn't the temperature, that was from fright. <laughs> anyway, he looked over, and in the corner of my tent, he saw my socks standing up. And he bounded across and jumped straight in. <laughs> Damn, <laughs> 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 yeah. 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 and, <laughs> <laughs> and I had my shoes outside and I thought, bring my shoes in. To which he said, Harry, throughout the night I'll be in and out of both those shoes, I'll dry them out, and I'll absorb some of that smell. <laughs> <laughs> Into my own body. <laughs> That's right. Well, I, I remember when we started Pity that. We saying it was smelly and all that type of stuff. He's <laughs> better now. He's um, double smelling. Yeah, yeah, he had a shower with the girl. Hold on, mama. So the next morning, he woke up, he's as happy as. He's been <laughs> snug in one of my socks. And by the way, since we talked got the about flag this, flag. Um, about not washing your socks, there's people here with very expensive shoes and they've got these um, very stiff soles. Um, you know, like these specialised ones. Chris, you've got these shoes. Um, a brand, you know, like they're the best. Bont. City. Bont. Cities. I mean, like, you pay a fortune. He said, Harry, that, that's bullshit. He said, don't worry. He said, don't wash your socks. They become as stiff as a boot. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, this morning, off we went. Going up this hill. And, of course, he was sitting in my back pocket. He said, Harry, I don't care how much you sweat. He said, it's going to be fine. It's just in heaven, you know, sitting in there. And warm and, you know. <laughs> anyway, he said to me, he said, I just smelt this aroma. And I said, Oh, oh no. He said, Oh, not a good smell at the back. <laughs> said, Is there a you know, gasket gone or something? Nice <laughs> day, or you? I said, No, no, no. No, no, no. I said, I haven't been on onions. <laughs> he said, Why is that me on corn? I said, all I can think, it's a bottom bracket. Ah, yes. The <laughs> bottom bracket's gone. A coffee break. And he said before I went in, he said, none of this double decaf <laughs> soy latte. <laughs> he said, just give it a miss. He said, when we get in the camp, we'll just have a bit of water with some flavour. Instant. So we got in this afternoon. Anika sees me looking at the soup and says, Harry, it's half warm. I looked over there, what have we got? Beer, half warm. <laughs> I took the beer, <laughs> no worries. And mum was happy to wish that. Um, anyway, he talked about Rome, and he, and he has been to Rome apparently. He went with some Aussies, they had this esky chocus. And they were already fairly juiced, they went in there, <laughs> <laughs> into, um, Wherever the Pope conducts his you know, <laughs> Sunday sermons you know, at the Vatican, there. <coughs> and he said he's sitting down these eskies, these Aussies, and they're getting pissed, making a huge racket with all the people around him. He said, The Pope's up there going, and all of a sudden, the Pope stops. And he said, And everybody's just looking at these Aussies, and I'm just there, part of their crowd. So he said, About two or three late, minutes later, he said, they look up ahead and all the crowd's starting to part. <laughs> <laughs> and then all of a sudden there's the Pope, he's coming down now. <laughs> and, and anyway, oh by the way, yeah, the Marla had some other mates back over there, you know, and they were watching and thinking, you know, how can you get yourself in with bloody Aussies? Yeah. <laughs> Embarrassing, you know. Anyway. Pope finally gets down from where they're on this nice bit of grass and everybody else is on the buddy <coughs> bitumen and cobblestones 